So this question is a translate word problem question. I know that because of the length of the question. Anytime I see a question that's more than four lines long, I'm immediately thinking translate word problem. And all that means is that I want to write down any quantitative information as I'm reading and definitely maybe translate any other relevant information as I go. Instead of reading the whole thing and then having to go back and find that information. I take a glance at the answer choices. I kind of have a habit of doing that, especially for translate word problem questions. So I see that I have some variables here, T and S, and it looks like the numbers that are important for me are 58 and 8, right? They all, all of the answers have some combination of T, S, 58, and 8. So I already kind of know what my universe of information is going to be here. So the first sentence of the question says, teachers and students will participate in a tutoring seminar and each teacher, will, each teacher will lead a group of no more than eight students. So the number of students that you can have per teacher is going to be less than or equal to eight. And that's, you know, for one teacher. I guess I'll just say T. T is going to be equal to that, right? Every teacher has less than or equal to eight students. Um, the next sentence says the room for the seminar can hold a maximum of 58 teachers and students. Okay, so that means the number of teachers plus the number of students has to be less than or equal to 58. Now that's very valuable because I already see a lot of this T plus S, right? So this is a direct translation from that sentence, right? The room for the seminar can hold a maximum of 58 teachers and students. So this is definitely just you know translating directly as i see it so i am going to look at my answer choices in and see if i can cross anything out so t plus s has to be less than or equal to 58 that means a is gone because a is saying that it's greater than or equal to 58 b looks good c is also gone right because it also says that t plus s is greater than or equal to 58 and then d looks good right so just based upon this information i was able to get down to a 50 50 on this and then how about this? Right? Well, I'll keep reading. If T represents the number of teachers and S represents the number of students, which system of inequalities describes the possible numbers of teachers and students who can participate in the seminar? So here we have this information, but how do I, how do I combine all that? How do I combine all of that together with T, S, and 8? As I can tell, that's what I need to do based upon the second option here. So we know that... The number of students is going to be um, less than or equal to eight times the number of teachers. And hopefully that makes sense. For every teacher, they can have up to eight students. Right? So if there was one teacher, you could say one times eight. If there are three teachers, you can say three times eight, right? And we're saying it's less than or equal to because we're not saying that it has to be equal to that, right? Because the question said they can have up to that, right? No more, no more than eight students. So hopefully this makes sense. This S is less than or equal to eight T. But when I look at my answer choices, it's not based upon S, right? S is not isolated. I have T isolated here. So I'm going to divide both sides by eight so that I can isolate my T, and then T, right, this open, this is opening towards the T, so T is greater than or equal to S over 8 is how I translate that, so the answer that works is not B, because T here it says T is greater than or equal to 8S, but it is D, T is greater than or equal to S over 8. So it took a little bit of time to get there, but really it's because I didn't take my time here, right? I should have taken my time a bit more here to relate T, S, and 8 because I did see, right? I did see that all these had that relationship, right? So it took me a little bit longer to do that, but hopefully you see how this all works together.